Welcome to Mindset and Mindfulness, where each month we'll look at a different theme. So this month we're focusing on our root chakra, which is our first energy center, and which is concerned with our basic survival needs. And here's the thing, if there is an imbalance in any of our energy centers, it can create imbalances in other energy centers. So when we're feeling fearful, for example, the energy gets drawn down or kind of like taken away from the higher energy centers and we can become even more fearful. So we're worrying about things, usually about things that haven't happened yet. Let's face it, most of the things we worry about are things that haven't happened and more often than not the things that don't happen or even if they do, they're never as bad as we think they're going to be. But we get stuck in this state of fear and anxiety and because that drains energy from our upper energy centers, we're not able to think clearly. Very often on a physical level, we stop breathing properly and so we feel even more anxious because we're not getting ox oxygen to the rest of our brain, body, etc. So we're gonna get stuck in a catch-22. So each month we're gonna look at a particular theme or an energy center or just a concept. And I'm gonna give you some journal prompts. Now you can write them down and actually journal on them, see what comes up, or you can just see what comes to mind. You can even press pause as I'm speaking and do what I call virtual journaling, which is literally speaking out loud. And believe me, I have had some incredible breakthroughs really by speaking out loud, because when we verbalize something, it's, we give ourselves a different perspective. You know, when we've got thoughts in our head, it's like there's no room for really conscious thoughts and it can just become too overwhelming. And this causes anxiety as well. Whereas when we actually put something down on paper or whether we say it out loud, we can kind of see it more clearly and we can kind of think, well, that's just a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Why am I, why am I you know, losing my mind over something that's not gonna happen and da, 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 da. So it gives us a different perspective. So I invite you right now just to close your eyes you can sit, you can stand, doesn't matter. Take your awareness to the area, the base of your spine. So Muladhara Chakra, your root chakra. And just sense into that area. You may feel something there. You may feel absolutely nothing. You may feel something that you can't put into words and it's okay. And the words associated with the root chakra are safety, security, stability. Safety, security, stability. The problem us spiritual beings have, having this human experience, is on one hand, we crave and need safety, security, stability. On the other hand, we also crave and need excitement, purpose, adventure. So we can kind of get in a catch 22. But when we feel safe and secure, and by that I mean, when we know that we've got food, we've got water, we've got clothes to put on, we're not in any immediate danger, then we can look to our other needs. So I want you to take a moment, just sense into your body and ask yourself this question. What does safety mean to me? What does safety mean to me? Keeping in mind there's no rights or wrongs, and sometimes something may come in your mind that doesn't sound logical, and that's okay. We're not talking about logic, we're talking about conversing with your body, with your energetic body. And you may not have even thought about this question before. What does safety mean to me? Number two, how can I or how do I embody a feeling of safety and security on a daily basis? What in my inner world, what in my outer world helps me feel safe? So for example, I may feel safe when I'm having a hug with someone I love. You know, that makes me feel safe. I may feel safe when I'm in my home, uh, I've got the fire on, my cats are around me, I've got a roof over my head, the door's locked, you know, that for me gives me a sense of safety. Remember, there's no right or wrong answers. So how can I or how do I embody a feeling of safety and security on a daily basis? And what in my inner world, what in my outer world helps me feel safe. Maybe you can write these down or you can press pause and just think about it. Just think about it. There's no rights or wrongs. Number three, I want you to remind yourself of ways 
that you feel and have felt you are always divinely supported, divinely guided by the universe. So think of ways when, and we've all had it, especially over the last past couple of years, when we've been really worried, really fearful, especially the past couple of years, you know, things that have gone on, you know, worrying about paying bills, you know, when everything went into lockdown, it's like, oh my God, how am I going to cope? So there are ways when we look back that we realise that we always are guided. We always have been. You know, things, as I say, the things that we worry about, most of them don't ever happen. Or if they do, they're never as bad as we think they're going to be. And we get through them. We get through them. So remind yourself of ways that you feel, that you have felt, that you are and always have been divinely supported by the universe. And number four, what practices or activities can you bring into your daily routine to maintain a sense of mindfulness and to help you stay grounded and present because most of the time we're either on autopilot or we're, we're doing one thing and we're thinking about the next 10 things and I do it as well I have to bring myself back to the present moment and I often do that by literally looking around me I look at the ground beneath me I think I'm so grateful for, for seeing all these trees I'm so grateful for the fresh air I'm so grateful for watching the clouds and all those kind of things so what practices, what activities can you bring into your daily routine to maintain a sense of mindfulness and to help keep you grounded and present? It might be bringing your awareness back to the breath. And again, think of those things. I will provide you with a graphic with these um, journal prompts on them. So say you can just think about them or you can write them down. And a way to think of these affirmations. So keeping your eyes closed, notice how your body reacts with these affirmations. Every cell of my body supports my total well-being. I am so grateful to have everything I need right now and to know that I am exactly where I need to be right now. I feel safe, supported, protected in this present moment, which is the only moment that truly exists. Every cell in my body supports my total well-being. I am so grateful to have everything I need right now and to know that I am exactly where I need to be right now. I feel safe, supported, protected in this present moment, which is the only moment that tr truly, where I truly exist. <sighs> Enjoy the practices for your root chakra, Muladhara.